So recently I've been doing quite a lot of calls with my subscribers. Um, just, you know, chatting with people, getting to know people, seeing like the effects of my videos on people, etc, etc. And one thing I've noticed is one question I get quite frequently is how to know if your website is SEO friendly or like how to know if Google likes your website or even how to know if the niche is worth it. This is something that comes up all the time. We have people who have built out a website, they've done a bit of SEO, but they don't know how to answer these basic questions. How to know if their website is SEO friendly or how to know if their niche is worth it. One of the first things that you should do is you should check in Google Search Console. And basically, as long as the purple line is going up, then Google likes the current state of your website. If the purple line is going down, the impressions, then it means Google doesn't like your website. If you're seeing like just a flat line like this, uh, like 100 impressions, 80 impressions per day with no clicks, then most likely Google does not like your website very much. Another thing to keep an eye on is how many pages are indexed and whether that number is decreasing or increasing. You can see that it's a for, for Tiny Home Hub, which is the example website in this video, it kind of floats around 116. Like it doesn't really go below 116 or it hasn't yet. It might do in the future. I hope it doesn't. But if it does go by under this, then you may have a problem as well. And you can look in crawled, currently not indexed. And you can see that if this is going up, there might be a problem here. Now, it depends what these pages are. Like you can see some of these pages, uh, feed pages or tag pages or whatever it might be. And then another thing that I like to do is I like to check the website on Google just to see how many pages it says there are. So I do site and then control V or, or whatever it might be. We have 42 results right here and we can see the Google, you know, it doesn't hate the website. It's, everything's getting indexed. Click on images as well. I like to just make sure all the images are getting indexed. Everything looks fine here for a fairly fresh website. As you guys know, this website was made in June, I think it was. Um, but then I also recently found out a really, really nice way of doing this. And this is the main reason I'm making this video. So you can actually put your, well, it's kind of obvious when you think about it, but it might just give you results that you were not expecting. And this is a way to see what potential keywords you are picking up in the future or that you have the potential to pick up. So yeah, put it on whatever language you want, whatever country you want. So let's go United States here because that's what I'm targeting. So I'm really, really happy with the results that I'm getting with Tiny Home Hub right now. And then click start a website right here and make sure you use the entire website is selected and then press get results. Now look at the difference between how many kind of impressions I'm getting. So we're almost at a thousand impressions per day after two months or three months, which I'm again, I'm really, really happy with. Honestly, I think this is really, really good progress. Um, and then compared to this. Google is potentially, this is like the potential of my niche. Okay. Now I'm not saying I'm going to be ranking for any of these keywords anytime soon, but you can kind of see the keywords that Google would like to give me if my website continues down the path it is currently going down. That's how I like to interpret it, interpret this. You can interpret it however you want. This is also a really good way to spy on your competitors completely for free, by the way, and steal their keywords. But what you can do as well is you can take a lot of these main like big ticket keywords, for example, and you can put them on your homepage. You can build pillar posts or pillar pages around this content, whatever it might be. Uh, so we could take ideas for a tiny house, for example. We could make a mid journey collage of ideas for tiny houses, uh, layouts for tiny homes. We could potentially use um, mid journey as well. I'm not really sure how I would go about doing this specifically. And then you can just see a lot of the kind of normal keywords that I've already covered, but cottage, tiny home, again, um, mid journey would be really, really good for that. And yeah, this is just a really, really nice way to verify whether the website you have just built is actually going to be worth it in the end. So let's just do one more example, which would be two men .it, which is another website that I made. Um, really, really proud of this website. I am continuing working on this website, but I'm not continuing working for the company. So we came to an agreement with my boss. I've talked about this a couple of times, um, where I can continue working for this website, which is what I wanted to do anyway. I, I really feel like this is my baby, this, this website, I really, really like it. So 
I'm happy to announce that I am going to be continuing doing work for this website, but I don't work for the, or I won't work for the company anymore after Friday. So I've got another three days over there and then I'm leaving that company and I'm moving to Ireland. I am going to be continuing my YouTube, obviously. Everything's going to be free still. Everything's just going to be continuing as normal. Um, but I'm going to not be working for that company anymore, basically. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video quickly because I've been doing this in some of the calls and what's been happening is sometimes if you see nothing here, then there's something wrong with the website. And probably the, the most common thing that I've seen is wrong that is wrong with the website is that things just aren't getting indexed. If you don't know, you can check, uh, like I showed you before, on pages right here. But another thing you can do is you can inspect URLs, okay? So let me show you what that looks like, just in case people don't know. Let's just take a random page, how to live off the grid right here. Let's say I spent ages on this, and if you spend a lot of time on something and it doesn't get indexed, it's obviously just been a huge waste of time. So it's important to know what's getting indexed and not, and things that don't have enough content, they don't have good enough content, whatever it might be, they don't have photos, they don't have tables, they don't have lists, they don't have, you know, decent content, they're not going to get indexed necessarily. So this is probably the biggest problem I've seen recently in the last uh, couple of weeks of doing calls with my subscribers. I wanted to make this video specifically to round up like a couple of things that I've noticed recently um, so I can help as many people as possible because if one person's making a mistake, then another person is probably making that exact same mistake. Just in case you're watching this far and you're interested, these are the best performing pages on Tiny Home Hub. Uh, this is a Koala article. This is an article Fiesta article that's much older. This article right here, I'm super, super happy with. Um, I think this was a really, really good niche. Uh, this keyword was found using Google. No, it was used found in keywordtool.io. I'll just show that because sometimes I mention tools and people don't know what I'm talking about. All I did was type in like portable or handheld um, or best handheld is what I wrote. So I went on Amazon. If you're curious, I might as well just show people this and typed in best handheld or something like that. And this is a really, really good way to find keywords. And it's obviously worked very, very well here. Best handheld gadgets 2023 for the house. Uh, these are pretty much all. Th this is Article Fiesta. This is ChatGPT pillar posts, which I've talked about a lot. Um, this is ChatGPT pillar posts, ChatGPT pillar posts, the same. This is the home page. ChatGPT pillar posts. Interesting, actually, it's mainly the best performers here seem to actually be the ChatGPT pillar posts, but they were the first pieces of information uh, put on the website, and they are also kind of different. Like a pillar post is supposed to be stronger than a blog post, so that does kind of make sense. So yeah, this is how I found these keywords. You can see here, this works really, really well. These are all really, really good things to write about on Amazon. I love this keyword tool and it looks like it will eventually bring a lot of traffic to this website. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.